Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to start the power brake installation on the Nova. I'm going to remove the uh, old master cylinder, uh, install the booster, and um, install the new master. I'll bench bleed it first, I'll install the new master, and then we'll get to installing the uh, new, new proportional valve and lines, and reroute some lines in the car for the front and rear brakes. So we can so we can put on the uh, new power front disc brakes so uh, let me get set up we'll get over to the car and we'll show you what we got to do over there So what has to be done here is I have to remove the old master and the proportional valve and then in the car I've got to get underneath here and on the brake pedal I've got to remove the, the cotter pin and the, uh, the clevis and then so I can remove the uh, push rod from here and pull all that assembly out and then we've got to drop for the power brake booster there's another pin up in here I don't think we can see it but there's another pin up in here and that's where the new booster push rod will go uh, it drops down an inch when you put power disc brakes in so I'll get the tripod set up and I'll get this out of here first and then we'll come back underneath the hood and get that looked after okay so now I've disconnected uh, the brake pedal from the uh, actuator rod inside. So now we'll disconnect the uh, master cylinder and it's good to have, have a set of flare nut wrenches. I used a bunch of deep creep on here uh, to start with so I could break these loose and uh, you let it sit for a few days and then you should have no trouble. And then you can either work it back and forth like so and, and then break it loose. See, I got this one broken loose already. I'll see if I can get you in a little bit closer here to have a look. Not wrenches are always fun. There, we got that off of there. And 
see if we can get down into here and get this one off now. Again, I must admit, I put some uh, deep creep on these. So I could get them loose, so I could loosen them off. They were considerably tighter than that. flare nuts. They're awful. Maybe wiggle these a little bit. You can get them out. Just push these out of the way for now. And there's lots of coil in there to bend to get to the uh, new proportional valve. I'll unplug the electrical here. Get that out of the way. We can get the back one here, I think. I can't remember what size this is, but I can maybe get this back one off of here first. Oh, yeah. Okay, hang tough. I'll be back with you in a second. So, now we've got the, uh, the brake lines off and now we just got to break the, the bolts off back here and over here uh, 9 16 so you can watch me um, struggle next to, to get those bolts busted off and then we can pull that push rod out and we can put in our, uh, our power booster next so I will get this back on the tripod and we'll fight with those uh, 9 16 bolts maybe I'll break them loose first so you can so it makes it a little bit faster so you don't have to Bored, silly, uh, wa watching it. Okay, we just have a couple more bolts to take out of here, and the master will be out. So I'm loosened up. Okay, those bolts are off. The master should just pull out of here. Pull a proportional valve out of here. There's a proportional valve out. That's out. And we'll pull the master out. There we go. And the rod comes with it, see? And the rods come with it. Okay, we'll come back and we'll we'll uh, get the booster on here next. Okay, so the master's off. Uh, just one quick tip: if you can, always try and use a six-point socket on these six-point uh, nuts instead of a twelve-point. You stand a far better chance of um, of stripping them, especially if they're been on a car for 50 years like this. So just a quick tip, um, if you have a, 
have a uh, six point it's it's always good to put a six point on a six point uh, so you again so you don't you don't strip these uh, the corners off these bolts and I use these uh, flank drive ones they drive on the on the back side of the of the bolt head or the, the nut head so I'll get some of this uh, moved up cleaned up out of the way here uh, reroute some stuff and then I'll bring in the uh, booster and we'll set the booster in here So guys, we got the booster ready to go in here. This uh, clevis that goes on the brake pedal, uh, you can have about half an inch here, roughly, to start with, and then you can just hand tighten that nut. And then once you get it in there, you can you can adjust that um, once once you get it up into there. So we'll uh, struggle with this in here. It shouldn't be any much of a struggle. It should just drop in. Just like so, and we'll uh, snug everything up. We'll put the nuts on it, we'll, and we'll snug everything up, and then we'll uh, we'll come back in a minute or two here. Okay, now the easiest way is to get in around the back here. I got the nuts started. Like that, you always want to snug them up. And then I'll go down and I'll get the bottom too. There. Now the brake the brake booster is installed. Uh, something that you want to be aware of is that these boosters come with a a short a short pin. And a long pin. This is the long pin. And the the easiest way to um, know which one you need is that this uh, Delco uh, Delco um, master cylinder has this adapter in it. This conca concave goes inside, and then you use the short pin. If you don't have this adapter, then you can go ahead and use the long pin. So for this application, I'm just going to use the short pin. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bench bleed the uh, master. Everybody's seen how to bench bleed a master. I'm not going to bore you to death with that. And then we'll come back and we'll uh, stick it back on the car. So I'll bleed this and be right back. Yeah, and guys... Uh, before you bleed your brakes, make sure you check to see what type of brake fluid your system takes. Uh, this 71 Nova with the system takes the uh, dot three, they make dot four, and they make dot five, and they also make synthetic brake fluid. So you want to make sure that you get the proper brake fluid uh, for your car before you start to bleed your brakes. Again, this 71 Nova 
takes the DOT3 non-synthetic for the system that I'm putting on the car. Just a quick little tip before you go out and buy brake fluid that's wrong. Okay, got the master cylinder bled, ready to stick it on. We got to make sure we grab this bracket. This is this is the bracket that's going to uh, the proportional valve is going to get bolted to. So we'll drop this cylinder in, and make sure you don't get any brake fluid on your paint. Brake fluid will just eat your paint something terrible. Make sure you have that little adapter spacer in there. That on like so. This bracket goes down here. I'll just get a get the nut ready here. And just keep this stuff kind of loose because you want to be able to put this proportional valve on here uh, after. So there, there we have that installed and uh, we'll come back and look at the proportional valve next. I think I have to get some adapters to adapt some of this stuff to the uh, to the new uh, proportional valve. I don't think some of the lines fit. So I will double check that and uh, we'll go from there. See you shortly. So there we have it. We've got the new booster, the master and the proportional valve in. I just have to hook up the pedal now. That will be at, uh, I'll get that done. You don't need to see that. But the kit fits quite well. It's a little bit uh, persnickety to put on the um, the, propor the proportional valve. It's a little tricky. And I have to adapt the uh, bottom brake line to a small port like this. And i got to adapt the rear brake line at the back there to the bigger port at the back. So I've got to get some adapters, uh, adapt those tube fittings. And uh, that should be good. The new, in, the new intake and everything is going to have the vacuum port on it for the booster, so I probably won't have real power brakes right away, but it's in anyway, uh, ready to go. So again, like, share, and uh, subscribe, and uh, we hope to see you guys on the next one. Talk to you later. Bye. Again, the... Uh, new install went really good uh i'd like it if you guys would uh like share and subscribe to the channel and uh we'll talk to you guys later on part two when we start the uh, front rotors uh discs and new spindles so thanks talk to you later guys bye